Hey everybody, welcome to Home Recording Made Easy. Doc Comet here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at another great plugin by the company Overloud. This is the Comp 670. This is the Fairchild emulation by the company Overloud. Now I've done a bunch of videos up till this point on the Overloud plugins. I did the 1176, I've done an SSL bus compressor, I've done an LA-2A and LA-3A shootout. And what I'm finding more and more is the more I look at their different plugins, the more I like them. And I think you're really gonna enjoy this. And this Fairchild has some features in it that you don't see in typical Fairchild plugin, um, you know, other plugin manufacturers. So this is gonna be really cool. So we're gonna only listen to this on some acoustic guitars and some bass, and then you can have an opportunity to go out and demo this plugin 15 days for free by clicking the link in the description box. But before we get to that, if you like what you see in this video, please hit that subscribe button, share this with others, and also hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting out new content, which is happening at least twice a week. Also go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, get your five free mixing training courses. Yes, I said it, five free mixing training course is worth about 110 bucks. It's my gift to you to say thank you for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And if you wanna learn the craft of mixing in a very non-technical way and join a group of uh, like-minded uh, engineers where we're all trying to get better at the craft of mixing, regardless of your experience level, head on over to mixingmadeeasy.net. So now let's get into Studio One here. And here it is, the big old plug-in, the Comp 670. Now. I'll walk you through the layout of this plugin. It looks a little bit more complicated than it really is, um, and but it sounds great. Now, the great thing about a Fairchild plugin, regardless of what manufacturer you use, and I have the one by Waves, the Puig Child, I have the Universal Audio one. It's one of these kinds of compressors that you can put anything into it. You can over compress the snot out of it, and it always sounds nice and smooth. It is a tube based hardware unit and plug in. Um, the hardware unit today is very, very sought after. It's they consider it probably the holy grail of all studio compressors. Most studios, unless you were big time studios, didn't have one of these. If you tried to fetch one today in even reasonable condition where you can actually use it, the hardware unit, I mean, you're probably looking somewhere in the neighborhood to 30000 thousand to forty thousand dollars us to get one of these so to have great emulations in a plug-in format is great and again they sound fantastic now what's um great about the uh the overloud uh version of this is they have um three different models uh, emulated into one plugin, which is great, which we'll talk about in a second. So the first thing I like about this plugin is the size of the GUI. And I've said this about the other Overloud uh, plugins, although it's not adjustable to make it larger or smaller, uh, like the Audified plugins that we've looked in at the past, it's still a nice big plug in on the screen and it looks great. If we start over here on the left hand side, here's the first unique feature about this Fairchild emulation is you have three different models that they, three different actual hardware units that they have emulated. Because these hardware units sounded pretty vastly different from one another, depending on when it was made, depending on the age of it, the condition of all the tubes and transformers and circuitry inside of one of these hardware units, they all sounded a little different. So what um, Overloud did is they have three different styles here, three different emulations, the London, the Los Angeles, and the Milan. And you can go ahead and you can read their manual and, and, and they talk about the different ones, but they sound vastly different from each other, which is great. Next to that, we have our input gain here and we can link the left and right with this button here. Okay, the input pushing more signal into this is gonna obviously oversaturate the compressor. We have our threshold here, okay? Then we have our time constant over here, okay? Now the time constant is like a pre-programmed under the hood attack and release time. So um, again, and, and the exact attack and release times will be in the manual, but you have the fastest attack and release is gonna be a time constant one and it's gonna progressively get a little slower. And, uh, until you get to five and six. Five and six have the same attack time, quick attack as one and two, but the release time is program dependent. So depending on the material going in will depend on how the release is gonna react, okay? So you can play with that. Over here we have our, uh, our metering here, and then we have our metering selector switch, gain reduction in, out, or the harmonics, and we'll talk about the harmonics in a second, okay? Down along the bottom, again, is some is where the unique section, another unique section of this plugin, which is different from other manufacturers. You obviously have your output here, which we have on every one of them, but we also have our DC uh, threshold here, which will, which will change the way the compressor kind of reacts. And then we also have this harmonic 
style to add more, a little more harmonic distortion and coloration, which again, plus or minus 10 dB, which again will change the way the compressor sounds. Again, unique feature to this particular plugin by Overloud. We also have a side chain section over here. And then we also have our parallel wet and dry, which again is another unique feature to uh, Overloud. And then we have our output level. Okay, so there's three unique features, the parallel wet and dry, the harmonic um, adding of the harmonic uh, distortion to it, and then also the three different models, okay? And then the fourth unique feature about this plugin compared to others that are on the market is they have this thing called the scribble strip, which, have, which is on all of their plugins where you could go ahead and you can label certain settings if you don't want it to be changed. So in other words, if you have, you're sharing sessions with different engineers and emailing sessions or you know back and forth, or if you're working in the same studio, multiple people are working on a project and you don't want something changed on a compressor or any of their plugins, you can put a scribble strip here, you can double click and you can say something like, um, you know, do not touch. Okay, so then that way nobody touches, well, I put dupe, <laughs> uh, not touching. You can add as many of these scribble strips to the plugin as you like, and you can move them all the way around. That's something unique I've never seen done before. Is it a feature you're gonna use all the time? Well, if you're only working with yourself, probably not, but I thought I'd point that out to you. If you right click, you can delete that scribble strip. Okay, so this is the, uh, the uh, Comp 670, the Fairchild by Overloud, and they also got a bunch of presets as well that you can uh, come over here and, and check out, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna listen to this first on an acoustic guitar bus, couple acoustic, jangly acoustic guitars kind of kicking in here. Okay, and we can bypass it just by clicking off this button here. So if we just kind of play back this little acoustic guitar section in solo. <laughs> Set it on the input, turn the threshold all the way down. Now again, we could set the gain, the metering to the input and we can push the input gain, because again, the more you push, the, what's, what's great about this, this kind of compressor is you can push it pretty hard and it's not gonna get that pumping and breathing effects. It's actually the harder you push it, the better it sounds. So I like to set it on the input meter and kind of just get around that zero dB, maybe clip a little bit. set it back to gain reduction once I kind of set the input. I'm gonna lower back our threshold. Let's bypass it. An acoustic guitar is a real good way to listen to this because when you have a heavy strummed acoustic guitar always on the one, right, of the measure, it tends to get extra heavy. I mean, that's, that's you know, that's uh, that's common with, you know, most acoustic guitar players, almost anybody, right, to have a, a little bit heavy handed on the one. And this really tucks it in very nicely, but it doesn't sound compressed. The other thing I like about these plugins, and I've said this before with the other Overloud plugins, is they seem like they have a lot of depth to them. They're not, they're, they seem like they're a little bit more three dimensional than some of the other um, plugins that I've demoed, you know, from other manufacturers, which is great. So now that we've kind of set that, let's just cycle through the, the three different um, compressors where all the settings stay the same. That's something that we can do as well. So let's kind of do that and we'll kind of cycle through them so you can hear the, the subtle differences between the three units that they modeled.
So what it sounds like to me, and I don't know how this comes across on YouTube, the London seems to be the warmest of the three, especially in that upper mid range. As you go to the Los Angeles and the Milan, it tends to get a little bit more open, a little bit more airy. Now, again, it's pretty subtle because these are, you know, all Fairchilds, but there is definitely a distinct flavor for each one of them. And that's really cool to be able to have, you know, the three flavors all in one plugin. you can pick your flavor depending on how it sits in the rest of your mix. Obviously we're doing this in solo. So let's use our harmonic uh, little indicator here. Let's just see what that does, how that kind of changes the sound from all the way negative minus 10 dB all the way plus slowly just to hear how it changes the overall color of these acoustic guitars. <laughs> Okay, you can hear it distorting there. I did that on purpose just so you could hear that this actually works. It's not just, uh, you know, hype. Sometimes some plug-in manufacturers put these little dials on there. You turn it from one extreme to the other and you don't hear any audible difference. Here you can obviously hear that. Um, and it's, all, it's, it's way too much, but just so you know that it's there. <laughs> And we can use our metering, we can meter the harmonic. So as we, I put it on the uh, HAR setting and now I could go ahead and I can see what it's actually doing on the meter. <laughs> So again, it sounds very, very smooth, and that's what makes this compressor so special. It's a lot like the uh, the Pultec EQ that we've talked about in the past and other uh, plug-in demos where you can hit it almost as hard as you want. You could crank up the top end on a Pultec. It always sounds smooth and never sounds brittle or nasty. Same thing with this, even though that's an equalizer, but this compressor is that compressor that you can just put anything through it, hit it as hard as you want, and it always sounds good, and it's just finding that sweet spot depending on the material that you're putting into it. Okay, so that's on acoustic guitars. Another area where this could sound nice, but in a little more of a subtle way, is maybe bass. So if we put this on a bass, and I've already kind of tweaked it a little bit, and that's with no compression, with compression. Now here, maybe we turn up the harmonics a little bit more to kind of give it some hair on that bass, you know, if you'd like. We'll cycle through the three different models. There's the Los Angeles. You hear more of the fingers. And the London's more warm. See that release time is on the time constant is very slow on number five. It's all program dependent. <clears throat> and that's before. After. And again, we can use the parallel if you want. You want to dial back some of the dry so it's not all compressed audio. You can do that. Before. After. Really 
really sustains those notes really, really well. Again, this sounds really, really great to me. And again, I love the fact that there's three different models in here to kind of pick your flavor. And again, as I said on the other plugins, and I've said once before already, today in this video, there's a lot of depth to these plugins, which I really like about Overloud. It's really, really cool. So that's just a quick look and listen. Again, I would urge you to go demo these. Now again, I'm just demoing these. This is not a sponsored video by any means. I know I'm giving a lot of praise to their plugins and it's not because they're paying me or giving me the plugins for free. Um, I have no working relationship with all, with them at all. A student of mine over at MixingMadeEasy.net turned me on to this company. I've never even heard of them to be quite honest. And I went over and checked them out and you can demo their plugins for 15 days for free. And I really like them. Everything I've looked at and listened to so far, I really, really like. Um, and I think if you don't have a Fairchild in your collection and you have a choice between maybe the Puig Child by Waves or if you don't have a Universal Audio, if you have Universal Audio, you have um, their option as well. But if you don't have their hardware, the only one that you really have out on the market that's of any quality, you know, in my experience is the Fair is the, um, the Puig Child by Waves. But that compared to this, honestly, I like this better because you have the three different models that are all in one plugin, okay? You have the harmonics that you can add, which is unique, and you have the parallel wet dry, which is really, really cool. And again, they have more depth. So this is a cool plugin. I'd go check it out. Click the link in the description box if you want to go demo it. Um, and if you want to purchase it, you can purchase it. I think they're fairly priced compared to others on the market. Again, check the website for current pricing. Um, I like this one. This is really cool. Oh, and you have the scribble strips too as well, which is a unique little feature you may or may not use. So that is it for the uh, Comp 670 uh, by Overloud. Go check them out. If you like this video, again, give me the thumbs up. Share this video with others. And again, don't forget to go to Home Recording Made Easy com and get your five free mixing training courses. I'm giving you five free courses, no cost to you, no obligation, no hidden contract, no nothing. It's all free. Download it to your computer, get it today worth 110 bucks. And if you like those five free videos, you can then check around homerecordingmadeeasy.com and see the ton of training that I have on mixing, mastering, and recording at all different experience levels um, and all in all different uh, types of plugins and things are being used. And if you have any questions, you can always hit me up with an email and I'd be glad to help you choose the right course for you and also go out to mixingmadeeasy.net. Until the next video, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Take care.